Hi, I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a party pocket banner with your banner punch board. This is a great piece of decor that's also very functional. You can hang it right over your food table at a party or a barbecue, and your guests just pull out whatever they need from the pockets. So we're going to use this denim paper. This is the Denim Blues collection, and I absolutely love this collection because it's actual denim fabric, and it's backed with paper. So there are also lots of prints and colors um, with polka dots and stripes that you can use as well, but we're going to use the solid one for this project. We're going to use the banner punch board, and this tool is so versatile because it cuts three different shape banners in several different sizes. All your measurements are right here on the board. It cuts pennant banners, it cuts flag banners, and then it also cuts what's called a crest banner, which is this pocket shape that we're going to use today. You've also got your hole punch right here on the end, and that is super handy. That's one of my favorite things about these boards because you just have it right there, and then you're ready to hang your banner. First, what we're going to do is take the paper, and we're going to cut it at six inches high. This paper cuts beautifully with our trim and scoreboard. And then we're going to cut it five and a half inches wide. And you're going to want to move your blade to the top and cut from the top down. And there you've got your piece. So you're going to want to do two five and a half by six inch pieces for each pocket. I'm going to move this out of the way and show you how to cut this banner shape with the punch board. Now the other two shapes, the pennant and the flag, are going to be cut in this part of the board down here. But for this particular shape, the instructions tell us to pull it up through the top. And we're going to use these white measurements. That's the width of your paper. So we're going to line up this paper on five and a half, which is how white our paper is. And then there's this blue line right here that's at the bottom of your intersection where you're cutting. You're going to line it up right there. It's got a 7.5 on it, so that's where you're going to line it up at the bottom. And once we get that paper at the right measurement, you're going to put your arm down and it's got these magnets. It's a magnetic arm, so it holds your paper right in place, which is great. You've got your blade here and that's got two sides. It's got a guide side and it's got a blade side. So we're just going to slide the guide side right into these tracks here. And for this banner, we're going to do two different cuts. We're going to start here and go down. Then you're going to remove your blade, start back up here on the other side and go down. Now when you're cutting this first side, you're going to hold your finger right down on your paper so that it stays in place and it lays nice and flat so you can get a nice clean cut. And because this is denim fabric, sometimes those threads in there, um, you'll need to cut with your scissors a little bit. So once we do that, we're going to punch the holes to hang the banner. And this punches right through the denim paper. And we're going to put these two pieces together. Now you're going to put adhesive on one of your pockets. Um, if you notice on this banner that I created, I actually did some mis machine stitching, which is really fun with this denim paper. So you can do that if you want to um, go for a more decorative look, or you can just use some good strong adhesive, like double-sided tape like I have here, or a glue gun, whatever works best for you. And you don't have to worry too much about um, the spacing as long as there's not a hole that your spoons will slip through or anything. So then I'm just going to line the holes up and the top edge and flip that together carefully. And then if you've got a little excess, like I do right there, just take some craft scissors, some nice sharp scissors, and trim that right off. You don't necessarily need fabric scissors for this. It cuts just like paper would, so we don't need to worry about special scissors. All right, I've already got another pocket here that I've created, so I'm gonna show you how to tie those together. You just need about eight inches of ribbon or twine. You can use whatever you'd like. I've got a 3 8 inch gross grain ribbon here that I'm using. We'll just slide that through the holes. And 
and get that right kind of in the center. You can do them close together, you can leave a little space there, whatever you'd like. And you can make this length, actually, you can make it longer if you'd like and have some decorative ends hanging down if you want. Then I just like to kind of trim the edges off so they're nice and even. And there you go. So you'll do that to each pocket. And then the ends, you'll just tie a piece of ribbon and leave the ends for hanging. You'll probably want a little more than what I've, I've got here so you can tie it around something um, when you hang your banner. Then the fun part, you get to decorate it and embellish it however you'd like. You can cut different shaped banners with your banner punch board and layer those over the top of the pockets. You can add letters, you can add uh, flowers, pinwheels, whatever you'd like. Make it yours and make it coordinate with whatever occasion you're celebrating. So have a lot of fun with it. I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers. Thanks for joining me.